Hi everyone, uh, in today's video we are going to see how we can create a scene using text inputs. So basically uh, what we are trying to do is, uh, if you see this task, here you can see we will uh, be creating a scene, inside that we will be creating uh, two text box and when we click on it, it will do some calculation on it. So for example if I uh, add 100. So it's basically uh, going to calculate the discount on the basis of discount money and the total money. So for example, if you are getting a cashback of 100 rupees on loading of 3000 rupees, so your interest will be around 3.33%. So this is something uh, we are going uh, trying to uh, create it. So in order to uh, create uh, a similar thing, uh, first we need to create a scene. So scenes can be created like by going to the scene and uh, let's create a test scene. So then uh, this type of window will come and uh, you can just adjust the size of it. And then I think uh, you should go with the normal one. So when you create it for the first time, all you need to do is just click the back and then you can start adding elements on it. So the element which we are looking uh, for is text edit. So text edit gives us uh, uh, gives us an event uh, which can be used to uh, manipulate the text so when you uh, add this you will see uh, many options related to this and but uh, what we are interested in in text change so I will not be coding all the things I'm just giving an overview then we will see how I created it so uh, this is the text change event where you can add tasks on it and do your manipulation and when you uh, like uh, use this uh, particular text box you will see uh, you will get two well uh, two variables so if you're going to go on variable variable set method or maybe variable add and you if you see uh, see the uh, types of variable uh, you have so you can see there are two variables like old underscore value and new underscore value so these are the two values which we will be interested in, but for this particular video we will be concentrating only on new value so new value is a variable which will be ex uh, which will be exposed to the user whenever you type new anything so you can get the uh, entered value from this variable only and then using that uh, we can just manipulate our things according to our own need so uh, so for now uh, i will just uh, add something like maybe a uh, test d so as you can see it's it will going to add a variable with name test d and you can uh, add series of uh, tasks uh, to achieve your logic and then you can just click on back and here uh, you will find this your uh, text input so i will just uh, give you a short overview like how you can manipulate this so by default uh, it's in this mode where you can adjust height and width and if you want to move this uh, on this particular screen all you need to do is you need to go to the hand sign and choose move here so when you do that so you can just move your uh, input here and there and if you want to delete it for deleting uh, this particular input you need to uh, like type on this uh, I mean click on this A to Z and then uh, hold this option here uh, let's just do it one more time Oh, okay uh, first you need to get out of the um, move mode so I will just click normal and then I go to the A to Z and then uh, use it and then you can see uh, you will have bunch of option delete and all 
so this is the basic thing uh, which we will be needing and another control which we will going to need for this uh, particular demo is the button so this is the button so you can add it uh, according to so label will be uh, the text which will going to dis uh, which will going to be displayed on the screen so let's just uh, type submit on it so as you can see uh, our button is ready here so these only two things which will be needed i have uh, shown you that how you can add this thing so let's just uh, go to the example and see how i achieve it for the sake of uh, long duration so i don't want to you know uh, start it from the scratch so let's just uh, go to the scene so this is the scene uh, which i have already created it let's uh, look at that what it is doing so here uh, i have used uh, two things so this is the label so if i click on it it will show you that uh, it's the element and uh, this is the name of it so it's basically a text box uh, with without added functionality so here i have used discount value and down and then uh, the main part which uh, which is here so this is the text added input and when you click on it you will see how i have manipulated it so i have uh, given it discount value the name uh, for the text edit so that i can reference it in other things and uh, you can just leave as it is uh, the other functions and uh, if you wants to like uh, show the size bigger so you can just use this uh, text size method so what we are interested in is is the text changed so text changed is, is will going to be triggered whenever you uh, start typing onto the controller and uh, then click on something else so it will get triggered so when it it will going to trigger i want to set the value of the text box and save it into a variable so as you can see i have used variable add so you can just uh, click uh, add and uh, here you can see the variable uh, add variable this one so i have used this one so inside it uh, i have used name so as you can see uh, name so name will be the variable name which will be using for uh, future uh, references and by default it will going to have a one value so i have uh, not done anything else in it so just uh, that this value and then the uh, second uh, task which i have had is variable set so var what variable set is doing it's going to set the value inside the this value variable so here i have used new underscore value so if you remember that uh, i have told you that that two well uh, we will be interested in two so when we talk about the text edit uh, you have uh, two variables exposed by that controller so new value will be the current value of the uh, value of the text edit input so here i am setting this so whenever i type something on it it will going to set the value inside this variable set so similarly the another uh, text edit input will have the same things but different names so here i have used main v and then i am setting this to the name value so now when i uh, click on this i will uh, add the value here and then i uh, go to uh, this and type some value here so then uh, when i click on submit then i will uh, do some calculation on it and show it as a flash message so let's just click on it and see <coughs> what i have used so here uh, i'm just using name as submit and label as submit nothing uh, been changed in this particular section but when you click on tab here you can see a bunch of new options here so as you can see i have used uh, discount uh, name discount percentage Uh, which is not needed so basically you can ignore this one let's see uh, what i have used in here so yes it is of no use the reason behind that is uh, i'm not using external uh, task for it so we can just uh, delete it 
so uh, earlier i was uh, thinking of uh, using a, a totally a different uh, task to do the calculation but i think uh, it's more better to do it inside this scene only so here i am using another uh, variable set method so i am using a uh, calci m here and then uh, i am uh, calculating it like whatever the value we have in first text box divided by the value of second text box into 100 and then i'm uh, flashing that calci m so this is uh, our whole uh, logic behind this scene and in order to load a scene what we need to do is we need to create a task like discount percentage and here uh i i have used show scene action so you can see uh, uh it is showing show scene so what show scene do is it will take the name of the scene and it will going to show it and here you can choose how to show that scene so i'm using uh, as a dialog and everything is uh, selected as a default so don't forget to add uh, exit button here or uh, you will have a hard time uh, closing it. So that is all uh, what we need and let's just uh, play it again. So as you can see uh, we have that dialog so I will just use again 100 and in main value I will just use 3000 and then when I click on so I hope uh, you get some idea how to use scenes uh, with input fields uh, to do some calculation on the go. So uh, I hope uh, you get some idea and uh, let's meet in the next video. Bye. Take care.